In this section, we will learn how to deploy the created bookstore application. Create a jar file with Gradle. First of all, let us look at something called the manifest file. The manifest file in Java Archive contains metadata about the jar file, like version, built by developer, created timestamp, created by JDK version. The file also contains class path and main class if the jar file contains a runnable program. Then we don't need to have to think about the class path when we run the jar file. The manifest file is located under meta in, is named manifest.mf in capital letters. The manifest file can be configured in the Gradle build script. The jar file itself. A default Kate Gradle project uses the application plugin, which generates a jar file with the compiled source code from the source folder and files in the resource folder. In order to include the classes from the dependencies, we have to create a fat jar. A fat jar can be created with the Gradle Shadow plugin, com.github.johnwrinkleman.shadow and it is applied by using the apply function in Gradle, which is apply and then plugin, and then com.github.johnwrinkleman.shadow. Add a section called shadow jar to configure and set up the jar file, just like this. First we have the shadow jar section, then we set the archive file name to app.jar. That means that it will have the same file name every time we build it. This is very convenient when we later on want to distribute the file. In the manifest section, we have added attributes, main class, and then the main class, which is a variable that is set earlier on. The shadow plugin. Add the dependencies to the shadow plugin in the build script slash dependencies section. Just like this, first we have the build script section. Then usually we would have some repository information, and then we would have all dependencies. Of course, we should just leave the existing dependencies that are already there and then add a new dependency, which is com.github.jinkleman.gradle.plugins colon shadow colon and the current version is now 5.2.0. Now let us write some code and see how this works in action. First of all, I've created this project right here by pressing file, new project. I have ticked off the yeah, the routing and the JSON content negotiation right here. Then I press next finish and I ended up with this project. Let us go and look at the build.gradle file because this is where the interesting parts are located when we want to create a fat jar. I've added this line right here. That is the shadow plugin, the class path for that. Then I've added the plugin itself, which is right here. Apply plugin and then the shadow plugin. Main class name, this is set by default when we create a new KTOR project. So this is already there, main class name, and then equals to, in this case, Neti.engine main. And that means that it's actually the Neti's engine main, which is the main program that will then look for all the modules we have configured in the application conf file, and then it will start up our application. Then I have the section shadow jar right here. Here I am configuring that I want to have the same archive file name every time, which is now app.jar. I want to insert into the manifest file that, that the main class should be equal to this value up here, because then, then I can just run the jar file without giving the, the class name where the main is located. And that's actually it. Here we have the application of KT file just change the hello world to something else like hello world we are running inside a jar file or from a jar file from running from a jar file like this and then what we do is we press gradle and then we press build and then clean and build like this what happens now is that the build folder will be deleted and then, uh, yeah, the code will be compiled, etc. And then let us see what the result is. There are failing tests. And that is because we actually have a test that uh, tests for the value of Hello World. So we could actually just ch change the test so it matches the new value, which is this value right here. Like this, copy. And then I go to the test. Like this. 
and then we paste it. Then let's try to run again, clean and build. The build folder is then deleted and created again, and we run all these tasks that are mentioned down in the console output. And we got a success. We have a warning, but that's okay for now. So that means that if I go to my build folder, then I can actually go to the libs. Then I have my, along with my example, 001.jar file, then I also have my fat jar, which is named app.jar. And there's a huge difference in the size of these files. So let us just look at that. Copy, absolute path, and then I'll go to that folder. And here we can see that the fat jar takes 14 megabyte and the other jar just takes 9.8 kilobytes. Now let us try to run the file. In IntelliJ, we can create a new configuration, which is called a jar application. I have named this run the app jar file. Then I've pointed to the, where the jar file is located right here. And then I've set the working directory. Then I set the search sources uh, using the module class path. I don't think that was actually necessary, but uh, then you have the GRE right here. This was important actually. So that is actually why I set the sources right here, because then I got the Java runtime environment to be the same as the project runtime environment. Let us try to run this. Run. Now our application is actually up and running. And if we go to take a browser and then we go to localhost, localhost 8080, then we get the text, hello world, we are running from a jar file. So it works as expected. We can see an example of the manifest file, just if we're interested in it, then we can actually open that one up because a jar file is just a compressed file that can be opened up with the archive manager if you're using Linux or anything that actually can handle zip files. I have my archive manager right here. So this is the app.jar, you can see that in the top. And then I have a meter in folder, which is located right here. And then I went in and opened up the manifest.mf file inside the meter in directory. And here we can see an example of it, manifest version 1.0, a main class, and then the native engine main. So that's how it looks like.